Welcome, welcome to Chuggy Chogs Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online. Our next quest is Fresh in the Air. This is uh, the anti-trog class quest. <laughs> a lot of poor trogies are going to get killed in this. This is a time quest. We need to get it going. On. Uh, basically, we got to cut down on the trogs, get the stench down here. So we got to break through the trilight infestation and reach the vent room. Show you all six barricades that block the sewers, find the Twilight Hatchery, and finish before the time runs out. So we need to kind of hurry up. Now, there's one thing I want to get going here before we go any further, if it'll work. It's a 60% chance, and we rolled it three times and failed. So, you know, Murphy's Law on that one, too. Alright, and let's bring in a wolf, I guess, and then we'll get it going. We're nearly lost a minute already, right? So As you turn into the tunnel, you are overwhelmed by a rank and horrible smell. No wonder the coin lord needed assistance. We need to hop down here. Ah, oh, here we go. Now. Some of these doors, you actually have to have strength to open them and some you don't know, so. Say at least ten shamans or shamans. That's why I have the shield clicky. As the sewers <laughs> open into a larger space, you begin to hear clawed feet scrabbling over the stone surface. This is actually a Pretty tough quest on Elite, especially if you're uh, on a first life. <laughs> but sadly, we are doing it on normal. I would love to run this on Elite on this character. It'd be fun. It's a tough quest, uh, be just because of all the, the spellcasters and troglodytes. There's so many of them. You get that troglodyte stench stuff, it slows you down. And here you are trying to run in a quest quickly. Just checking Q spam here. Troglodytes leap from the high ledges to halt your progress. But I have to say, on a uh, rogue ranger type character, this is actually not that bad. This is kind of like an ideal situation because we have the right, we have the right mix of uh, abilities for this quest. Like, for example, shooting. Uh, you can see the lag happening here because the, the wolf is attacking things that are already dead and gone. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, we have the ranged ability, so we can range pretty much everything. I've only I've only have like one character that I've ever played that was a ranged character, just straight up ranged character, and uh, a lot of fun to play that character. It's just uh, this is the only the second time I've been able to, well, that I've chosen to play a character like this. So you know, it's good. It's a good thing. Boy, tearing these guys up though. Like I said, this is usually a lot harder in the lead. Hopefully, we'll we'll get this done in some record time. Whew. Yeah, like that one. The arrow hit it, it died, and then you hear the pap, you know, the smack of it getting hit by the... And they'd like to use uh, acid uh, in, this, in this quest, the Melf's Acid Arrow. So we might, we might actually hit this just to avoid the damage. You know, get a little resistance going here. Those ticks from Melf's Acid Arrow can uh, really be uh, hard, on it, hard on you after a while. Alright. We'll go upstairs and come back down. Uh, hmm. A sealed door ahead cannot mask the source of the putrescence. The, the putrescence. I love it. Love the description. Something below us here. Yeah, there's a couple things. Oop, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. That's alright. We need to explore all this little area here anyway. And we 
we've got a barrel there, that's good. What I want to do is run by all these uh, little, little um, grates because sometimes they pop out of those and they won't pop out of them unless you run by them or get close to them. Yeah, this is one of those quests that having a ranger is really the way to go. <laughs> There's certain quests that certain classes excel at, and this is this seems to be the one for rangers. All right, so our shield clicking ran out. Let's get that out. It's already been five minutes, man. Right, let's get that going again. Okay, we still got 30 seconds left. I want to kind of conserve the expeditious retreat. Oh, who's that guy? There's someone else up here. Get him, Dougie! And some of these things, I don't know if they just keep respawning after a certain, like, they're on timers, but... I wanna make sure we don't have anyone else. There's my wolf, okay. Alright, so let's head on down here. My expeditious retreat. <laughs> ah man, I have seen the room lots of people die in this quest. The There's certain quests that you know you, you see that in Six this large well. crates have been pushed in front of the ventilation shafts. They must be destroyed. Uh oh. Hello, Chief. You know what I forgot to put into my hotbar? I was just thinking about is uh, when I took the level, there is a. Yeah, there's a shot. You get this archer's focus. So we'll just have to toss, I don't know, intimidate out the window maybe. I don't really use it anyway. The main reason I have Intimidate set up is uh, in my pop bar, just in case I need to pull aggro off of something, you know, and uh, something else that I don't want, you know, like a hireling that gets aggroed, you know, I don't want that to be a, ooh, what's that? I don't want, sometimes want them to be aggroed on, you know. That makes sense. Dodging all this stuff, running around like a crazy person. Alright, we need to drink another potion. You gotta keep that uh, acid from doing damage to us. If you notice, every time I take one of these crates down, they'll, you know, a bunch of troglodytes end up coming around. Drop something. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to go over here so I could get this guy up here. Drop him. 
I think I'm getting the missile stuff on. There's something up there we can get. Can get the right angle of it. Yeah. That's another thing too is um I said miss, so yeah, no, alright, cool, we got him. As long as I as long as I can get a, an angle on him, that's what I'm shooting for. And then getting some of these breakables is kinda hard because they're way up on top. So once we get up to the second floor, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the those. The last of the barricades is destroyed, and fresh air begins to flow into the room from the cleared vents. Excellent. Well, that's good news. All right, we got a little puzzle. Oh, ran out of shield quick again. Hey, you see how I'm like I'm on that really quick, like. Oh, the, 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 the more shield. All right, we're good. Let's switch this back. Put that back. Check my expedition retreat. Actually, I want to get one of these going here. And let's go ahead and summon another doll just to have. Well, maybe we're a rat this time. Alright, now well, we're gonna go around here and grab anything we've missed. Maybe. Um, Alright, we can't grab that apparently. Uh, let's see, we got a bloodstone. Ooh, the bloodstone. Again, lag. Just kind of Q spam in this area because there's a lot of break holes. What is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh, that's up above. Okay. Might not be able to reach that one. We'll have to check. It's a treasure bag up top, too. That one we might be able to get. It's kind of on the edge, but no. Once we get our jump high enough, I've been up there before in that middle area, but it's kind of hard to get there. Uh, once we get our jump high enough, we might be able to pull it off. Alright, one more expedition retreat. I'm like often looking up in my right corner there to check for uh, buffs. Let's check and see if anybody else is behind us here. <clears throat> All right. and valves to the door. There's some copper pieces right below us, but I don't want to mess with those. I don't, you know, we can get those later. I mean, it's not a big deal. There's copper pieces, but. No money is money, so Well my buffs are still running, I wanna push push on. There's a there's a, a shrine room back there and you have to fight some stuff in there, but I'm gonna push on a little bit here. Um I got another bloodstone. I gotta watch that Mel Sassad arrow. I don't want to use up all my. We've been stockpiling these potions, but you know I'm down to ten already. I used two or three already. I think two of these. I don't know. I might not go all the way down here. It just depends. We'll probably clear out, clear out enough of this at least. Yeah, that that'll be good enough. We'll clear out to there, and then we'll go grab some of those things that we missed. Hit the shrine, get the fight. There's a fight at the shrine we have to deal with, too. Let me get our map here real quick. 
You can see uh, there's an area here that we haven't been, and then there's this area. I think this all kind of interconnects to. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to make that jump. I don't have, like I said, I don't. I could, uh, I can maybe get the jump spell, and then we would have more of an angle, but we don't have haste. Do an expeditious retreat. Uh, and that might be difficult to grab that. The the feather fall will make it kind of okay. I'm gonna look over here real quick. Just spend a minute here doing this real quick. Probably from here would be the maybe the best spot. I don't know. It seems about the same distance. There's also actually, if you have enough jump, there's like a pedestal down or a rock pile down there you can get on top of and then jump. But you have to have like a, pretty much a max jump to do it. And yeah, I think you can jump up and like grab the ledge and pull yourself up. The squeakers doing pretty good. In their aggro. There's a chest. And there should be another one back here. Oh. Yeah, maybe not. There's one there. I think there's sometimes another chest here. That's all right. We're gonna go ahead and hit the shrine. I may consider changing out a spell for this. Let's see. Let me try the jump spell. So now that they're lit up, this is the nice thing about playing like a ranger, a cleric, or a wizard. Uh, maybe artificers too. I don't know. I know bards, sorcerers can't do it. Uh, paladins can. Uh, they can. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, so what you do is you can switch out your spells while you're at a shrine, right after you rest it, but as soon as you start casting spells or doing anything like that, it'll uh, it'll stop, you know, it'll stop you from allowing you to switch out your spells. That's kind of a nice feature. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a shield key. And then we'll do a jump. An expeditious. And oops, let's clear a bow back. Let's see if we can figure out a spot to jump from here, maybe. This is a little bit higher. But I don't there's no way we're gonna make that jump, are we? I came in yeah, I came and target it from there. Um this is I think this is the rock I was talking about. Like you can jump up. If you have a high enough jump you can get up on this. I'll check my character sheet again here. See, character sheet skills uh, jump is 18 we do have that boost that could give us 20 that might be enough hmm I bumped my head though <laughs> try to scratch can you get there so I think you need like a 30 to do it you know 20 is probably not gonna pull it off I've done it before but like I said you have to have the right character and with the right Great abilities. Um, yeah, let's look around. I don't think maybe this one could do it. Yeah, maybe. I'll do another boost. Yeah, I don't think I can do it from that. I just don't have enough jump on this character. So hit those. And these, I think you bounce off. I don't think you actually. Um, let me check those real quick. We got ten minutes left here. I think these. I think you kind of, yeah, you kind of slide off, so you can't really jump off of those. The urns up top, I think, are just decorations. So I don't know if you can jump onto those. We could try. You know, we could like hop on and see. Nah, just decoration. All right. Not a big deal. There's not like a ton of stuff up there that we you know, have to have. There's like a purple bag and a, some copper coins. There are some other things you can do in the game when you're a higher level. Like you can, um, 
basically move forward while you're, you know, like a, an abundant step kind of thing that you can do, um, but you have to have the levels to do it, and at this level you wouldn't have that ability. Like, one thing we could make is we can make this jump, you know, we can do that, and again, I don't know, you know if we'd have, we kind of need like a haste kind of jump to hit this other one, let's see what we got here, we got two minutes left on our jump, let's give it a shot. Ugh, no. <laughs> not quite. Just not enough. I don't have the, the height. Now, I could have haste potions, sure. And, you know, that's certainly something we could do, but I ain't gonna mess with it. Anyway, let's get to let's get this quest done. We got nine minutes left, and um, my buffs are running out, too. And it's worth, it's worth a shot to try these things. And like I said, if you had haste, I could have probably used my uh, cookie that gives me that max like 30 jump and um, feather fall and all the other stuff at casting. I, I do have some cookies but not on me, I have them in a the bank, kind of save those for later when we absolutely will need the jump rather than just testing jumps. You Get him ready. A grime encrusted troglodyte fiercely defending her fresh sishless clutches her wounds and collapses in a pile of troglodyte filth. Well, they killed Ratty, but we were able to. At Ratty got the aggro. Ratty was my tank. That's a CR1 creature and a. Uh, you know, this is what a level four quest that, and a difficult level four quest. Not like you know, I mean that that poor dude was getting hit with all kinds of goodies. You know, it wasn't just a an easy fight. So that's good to know. Like that, that a little critter can withstand that. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll get some scrolls or something that we can cast some higher level critters. Alright, so we've got to meet Doggard at the exit and finish before time runs out. Let's see if we got everything. Conquest break rules, yep. Pretty much everything. So we go over here. This door is open now. There are a few more breakables, but we already have ransacked, so not a big deal. I'm going to get them anyway. Alright. Doggard grimaces and holds his nose as you approach. Oh, am I covered? Well, I am a trog, you know. Not bad, not bad at all. Killed them dead, didn't ya? And fixed them vents too. Now shift your rump up on out of here. We all been? It's, I guess B E N. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, he's just talking in plain English. We all been down here longer enough to earn our pay. This way, t this way, a 4M trogs work up a second win. A 4M Trogs. I guess he's trying to say it before. Anyway, <laughs> it's like as I'm reading that, I'm like, that's not how I speak English, but okay. Uh, he's just a funny character. Alright, so, yep, we finished the quest. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And our reward is right here, so that's cool. Uh, Harvin Gralak. Sweet air, glorious air. Not stinking of troglodytes air. Hey now, I take offense to that. My deal with House Deneath will go forward as planned, and you have earned your pay. Congratulations, soldier. On a job well done. And again, thanks for the junky loot. <laughs> I'm really hoping for some really nice loot. Like we've got all we've gotten so far, really. Well, there we go. Level seven. Okay, I'll thank you for that. You you helped me level my guild up one more rank. So, all right, that was uh. Fresh in the air. Um, I'm thinking our next quest will be. Maybe Rest for the Restless? Or Ironstone Inlet? One of those two. Uh, rest for the Restless, I think, would be a fun one. A little change of place. Got some undead going on there. So, alright, that's about it. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time, guys.